Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Kathy with Kathy's WW Journey. Well today I'm going to share with you my recipe for 15 bean soup in the Instapot guys. Yay, <laughs> it doesn't take that long. Um, let me see. All right. Did I throw that away? Oh my goodness, I think I did. Mm -hmm. The 15 bean soup, which is really nice, it's beautiful beans in there. Um, you can get right at Walmart, the bag. I only want to make about four servings. So, what you're going to need is 140 grams of dried beans. You do not have to soak these prior. All you have to do is rinse them. That's it. Okay? So, you're going to need that. Three cups of beef broth, which you know I use it better than bouillon. I just boil my water, and then it's one teaspoon per cup of water uh, to make that. Pepper and salt. Uh, I don't... I'm not going to put salt in here. I'll taste it after to see if it needs it, which I don't think because there's a little salt in your um, your low sodium base. So, okay, you're going to need a little Dijon mustard, any kind, any brand. One can of diced tomatoes, liquid smoke, Worcestershire sauce, um, parsley, dried parsley, and chili powder. Any brand, doesn't matter guys. And I've got for this probably about a half of a chopped onion, one carrot uh, cut up, one half of a red pepper, and one celery stock chopped up. And of course you're gonna need your garlic. Okay, so in your Instapot, Go ahead and throw your base in there, your liquid. Okay. Let me get my spoon out, guys. <laughs> you have to make it to the spoon. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put in one can of my um, diced tomatoes. That way you can see what I'm up to. Okay. Go ahead and throw your rinsed, um, what did I say, 140 grams of beans, the dried beans. And then I just put the rest of mine in a container and I'll label it for 15 bean soup. Or if I just want to have 15 beans, I'll just cook those. <laughs> okay. And you're going to put your chopped vegetables in there. Okay, about a teaspoon of garlic or more, that's to your taste. As you know, we are garlic lovers. Sorry, but more. <laughs> that's just me. Okay, now we are going to need one tablespoon of liquid smoke. That is so good for flavor. It really is. It's, and you find this over where the barbecue sauces are and everything on the top shelf in Walmart. It's inexpensive. Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon. Okay. And a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Okay. What's next? A teaspoon of parsley. Teaspoon of chili powder. 
Oh, this is a brand new one too. I forgot. I used up my other one. I use a lot of chili powder. <laughs> it's not for making chili either, guys. I got a heavy teaspoon on that. But really, a level one is sufficient as well. And then I'm going to do a pinch of black pepper. And I'm not putting any salt in. Now, right now at this point, go ahead and stir it up. Now, what I like to do is I will taste this broth right now. And I can adjust a little bit. Well, that's going to be a good soup, guys. All right, yeah. No salt. I wouldn't put any salt in there, okay? All righty. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in this Soul Instant Pot. <laughs> Doesn't work if you don't, right? All right. So we're going to go ahead and put our top on. Let's do a little fun. There we go. Make sure it's on ceiling, okay? And then your manual button or your pressure cook button, depending on what kind of instant pot you have, you're going to press it and you are going to go up to, I'm going to put 40 minutes. Well, 45 minutes, I'm sorry. Okay. And just let it go. And when I come back at the end of 45 minutes, we're going to do a quick release on it and it'll be ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, it went for the 45 minutes. I did a quick release. The button drops, so we're going to open her up now. All right. It smells really good. <laughs> All righty. Oh my. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit in the dish here so you can see it. Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? All right. All right. I'm not too sure about the other plans, but this is zero points for, um, and you get about four servings out of here, and um, it's zero points. But now, if you would like to, you could always add, add like diced ham to this if you want. You can make it any way you want to make it, okay? Um, I like just the plain, so this is, uh, this is a good, just the vegetables for vegetarians. It's good. All right, uh, but then I put beef base in, so, you know, it might, you can use, so do the same thing with the vegetable base, and uh, Better Than Bouillon does have a vegetable base, which I use a lot too, but today I didn't, I put, I went ahead and put my, uh, yeah, beef base in there, but this looks great, I'm going to give a little taste here and see. Like I said, I did not add any salt to this. The beans are nice and done. Mm. Guys, I hope you try this. It's really good. All right, guys. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys are going to try this. Please like, share. Leave me a little comment down below. I love gibbering back and forth to everybody. So, all right. Thank you, and I'll be seeing you, Chatty Kathy, all right, on Sunday. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you again.